Hi guys, um, so today's uh, full body strength will be working with the major muscles, which will be your push and pull, your legs, hinge and rotational movements. Okay guys, now we're gonna begin with our warm up. Our warm ups are nice and easy. First one, you're just jogging on the spot, nice and easy. Don't forget to breathe for me. Remember, you're building up into it. Keep moving. There you go. Next one, you're gonna jump into body hugs. You can have legs about shoulder width apart or a little bit wider or a little bit closer. It's all up to you. Open up. Breathe. Nice, slow, controlled. Maintain the control. Then next one, you're gonna hug the legs. Try and bring the knee as close as you can to the body. Okay, find your balance first, then bring that knee all the way up. There you go. The closer you bring the knee to the body, the more you feel the stretch on the glute. Nice and easy, couple of seconds, change to the other one, find the balance, bring it all the way up. There you go. Once you're done, legs are about shorter with the part again. Interlock hands, reach all the way to the ceiling. Hop extend shoulder blades, down again. Breathe, relax, and all the way to the top. And relax, one last time, all the way to the top. Okay, arm rotations. Begin with small circles. As you get into big circles, couple of seconds, then you change again, going backwards. So if you're going backwards, you're gonna go forwards, and if you're going forwards, you're gonna go backwards. Couple of seconds, and now I'm going backwards. There you go. Engage that core for me. Keep going. There you go, nice and easy. Rotate side to side. Breathe. As you can see, I'm also moving my foot because it allows for me to rotate a lot more. Okay, leg swings, find your balance. Straight up and down. Breathe, breathe. Couple of seconds. Once you're done with a couple of seconds, swap over to your side, find your balance. All the straight up and down. Maintain control. If you can go higher, go a lot higher. If not, just ease into it. There you go. Next one, legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, side to side. Make sure knees are facing forward. Maintain control. There. Breathe nice and easy. Hold for a couple of seconds. There you go. I'm gonna feel the stretch right there in the groin area. There we go. Nice and easy. And we change back again. Jogging in one spot. There you go. And great stuff. That is our warm up, guys. Okay, now guys, that we finished with our warm ups, now we're gonna begin with our workouts. With the workouts, we've got 12 exercises, which we'll repeat two times. In between that, you're gonna have a 30 seconds breather. Each exercise, you're gonna give me between 15 and 20 reps on each one, okay? So first exercise, we'll be doing 15 to 20 reps of squats. Okay, with the squat again, just imagine you got a chair behind you and you're sitting down on the chair if you don't know how to do it, okay? If you do, remember, drop down, make sure knees do not go past the toes, engage the core. Okay, so my first one, be there. If you can drop a little bit lower, please do. Slow, controlled. If you wanna feel a more of an activation, go a little bit slower. Don't forget to breathe. There you go. Keep moving, keep pushing. There you go. Keep moving, keep moving. Slow, controlled. Again, the knees can go past the toes only slightly, only slightly, so you've got more of a range of motion.
next movement or our next exercise will be push-ups. Again, between 20 and 15 reps. All up to you. Okay. Again, make sure you maintain control. Squeeze capillary together. Best way to get the movement, make sure your, uh, your hand is directly underneath your elbow. Engage core. Go low. Breathe. Squeeze shoulder blades together. If that's difficult for you, we'll do alternative where you drop the knees down for me. Drop the knees and keep on going. Keep on moving. If it's easy, back again. A little bit slower. If you want, you can even add explosive ones. Just with the hand, slow it down. Don't forget the breathing for me. Okay, and that is your push up. alternating forward lunge for me. Okay, again, make sure the weight does not shift too far on the knee. So when you're going forward, careful you don't bring the knee past the toe. Sideways, careful you don't go there. So now it's controlled, down, drop the knee directly down and up again. Change to the other leg. There you go, breathe. If you wanna make it a little bit more difficult, hold for a little bit longer, a couple of seconds at the bottom. Up again, hold for a couple of seconds, up again. Keep moving, keep breathing. There you go. Nice and easy. Maintain control. And that is your lunch. Jumping down to a crunch. Okay, bend the knees for me. Support the, your head with your hands. Slow controlled as you come up. Big breath out for me. Squeeze the abs at the top. Slow controlled. Hold for a couple of seconds so you can feel the contraction in those abs. You're gonna feel a little more of an activation. Have your chin up to the ceiling. There you go. 15 and 20. Breathe for me. Okay, now that we've done all the crunch, you're gonna get yourself a 30 second breather, then we move over to the next exercise. So our next exercise will be a deadlift. Nice, slow, control, control the movement. Uh, legs about short width apart, a little bit wider. Grip, you can, it's all up to whichever grip is comfortable for you. Yeah, right over. There, Look forward, slap bend in the knees, and up, squeeze. Controlled, and up, squeeze. Don't forget the breathing. Don't forget controlling the movement for me. Nice and easy, nice and easy. No rush at all. Keep moving, keep breathing. It's only between 20 and 15 reps. Once you're done, put it down slowly. And that is your deadlift, guys.
Next exercise will be our bent over row. With a bent over row for, in general, just have a more of a slight bend in the knees. Lean over like you're picking up something. You're gonna stay in that position. At the top, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Bring the elbows all the way up nice and high. Yeah, there, slight bend in the knees. And bring it all the way to the belly button or just under the belly button. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Relax the neck. Give that big squeeze at the top. Squeeze those shoulder blades. At the bottom, half extend the shoulder blades and squeeze. Breathe for me, keep moving, keep moving. Keep pushing. Nice and easy. There you start. You should start feeling the back start to burn. That's what we want. Once you're done with 20 or 15, catch yourself a 30 second breather, grab some water and wipe yourself down. Next exercise is a pike push-up. Slow, controlled, again. Hands about shoulder width apart. Yeah. You can start in that position, walking your way up. From there, you're bending the elbows and out. Don't forget the breathing. Maintain that control. Keep pushing to embrace the burn. Keep at it, keep at it, nice and easy. Engage the core. And great stuff. Once you're done, please grab a 30 seconds breather. Okay guys, our next exercise is the glute bridge. Okay, glute bridge, you're gonna lie back on your mat for me. Knees bent for me, hands right next to you, or they can be wide, it's up to you. From there, all you're doing is just bringing that bump up. At the top, don't forget to squeeze the glutes. When you squeeze the glutes, you get that nice activation in the hamstrings. Okay, slow controlled, squeeze at the top for one to two seconds. Down for me, squeeze. Nice, slow controlled, Very stuff. If you want to make it difficult, make sure bum does not touch the ground or lift your heels up at all times. You can get more activation on those hamstrings. Don't forget the breathing. Don't forget squeezing those glutes. Make sure you get full contraction. Nice and easy, nice and easy. If you want to make it more difficult, hold it for a couple of seconds at the top. One, two, three, and down. Nice and easy. One, two, three, and down. Big squeeze, big squeeze. The most important is that big squeeze of the glutes, the bum. And that is your glute bridge, guys. Catch yourself at 30 seconds, breather. Next one, one of my favorites, bicep curls. Nice and easy. Remember, you can use whatever you have in the house. If you got a, a dumbbell, if you got kid, if you got water bottles, five, five liter water bottles, please grab those and use that as your resistance. Okay, I'll be using a barbell. 
nice little controlled. Again, don't forget to engage the core for me. Elbows slightly forward, they're gonna stay in that position. You get contraction in those biceps. Okay, bring it all the way up. Careful you don't bring it too far up. You lose contraction. Just about there should be good. Slow controlled, squeeze at the top. Nice and easy. Engage the core. Squeeze those abs for me as well. Don't forget the breathing. There you go. Nice and easy. Keep breathing, keep engaging that core. Keep giving your all. Again, anywhere between 15 and 20 reps. 15 and 20 of the best, please. Keep moving, keep breathing. And thank you very much. That is your barbell bicep curl. Please catch a breather, 30 seconds, that's all you need. Then we'll continue with our next exercise. Down at your arm mats again. Russian twist. Nice and easy. Again, make sure your head also turns the direction that you go because it'll allow for your spine to turn a lot more so you can reach a lot more, get more activation. Okay, we're gonna begin with our feet down. Nice and easy. Don't forget to breathe for me. If you wanna make it difficult, legs off the ground. Again, lift of the legs off the ground, careful. They don't twist. If you want to make it difficult, legs on the ground, form a hammer, side to side. Don't forget the breathing, don't forget the breathing. Keep going. 15 to 20. And that is your Russian twist. Our next exercise is a tricep dip. Um, tricep dip, if you don't have one of these babies, you can use a chair, you can even do it on the ground. I'll show you the one on the ground just now. So there's uh, other ways that you can actually do it. Okay, so this baby, there, two ways to make it difficult. Straight legs to make it easy, bend knees. Okay, we're gonna begin with the bend knees. Make sure elbows are facing backwards at all times. Keep your bum close to the platform. You don't wanna move too far forward. Okay, so from there, controlled, breathe, squeeze at the top. Careful, bum is not too far forward because in the shoulder it takes all the strain. If I want to make it difficult, straight legs for me. Keep breathing, keep pushing, nice and easy. If I don't have a chair or one of these babies, you can just drop down here, there. Keep pushing, keep breathing. Okay, that is your tricep dip for me. Now that you rested a bit, next one, nice and easy, calf raises. Okay, straightforward calf raises, maintain control, breathe, up and down. If you wanna make it more difficult, make sure the heels do not touch the ground. Maintain that control, breathe. Squeeze at the top for one to two seconds.
No, that's an easy. Big squeeze at the top. Big squeeze. Or you can go all the way down. Keep moving, keep breathing. Well done guys, we've completed round one. Please take a two minute breather, then we jump into round two. Okay, with a squat again, just imagine you got a chair behind you and you sit down on the chair if you don't know how to do it. Okay, if you do, remember drop down, make sure knees do not go past the toes, engage the core. Okay, so my first one, you're there. If you can drop a little bit lower, please do. Slow, controlled. If you want to feel a more of an activation, go a little bit slower. Don't forget to breathe. There you go. Moving, keep pushing. Keep moving, keep moving. Slow, controlled. Again, the knees can go past the toes only slightly, only slightly, so you've got more of a range of motion. Next movement, or our next exercise will be push-ups. Again, between 20 and 15 reps, all up to you. Okay, again, make sure you maintain control. Squeeze scapula together. Best way to get the movement, make sure your, uh, your hand is directly underneath your elbow. Engage core, go low. Breathe. Squeeze shoulder blades together. If that's difficult for you, we'll do alternative where you drop the knees down for me. Drop the knees. And keep on going, keep on moving. If it's easy, back again, a little bit slower. If you want, you can even add explosive ones. Just with the hands, slow it down. Don't forget the breathing for me. Okay, and that is your push-up.
Next one is alternating forward lunge for me. Okay, again, make sure the weight does not shift too far on the knee. So when you're going forward, careful you don't bring the knee past the toe. Sideways, careful you don't go there. So now it's slow, controlled, down, drop the knee directly down and up again. Change to the other leg. There you go, breathe. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, hold for a little bit longer, a couple of seconds at the bottom. Up again, hold for a couple of seconds, up again. Keep moving, keep breathing. There you go, nice and easy. Maintain control. And that is your lunch. we jumping down to a crunch. Okay, bend the knees for me. Support the, your head with your hands. Slow, controlled, as you come up, big breath out for me. Squeeze the abs at the top. Slow, controlled. Hold for a couple of seconds so you can feel the contraction in those abs. If you're gonna feel a little more of an activation, have the chin up to the ceiling. There you go. Between 15 and 20. Breathe for me. Okay, now that we've done with the crunch, you're gonna get yourself a 30 second breather, then we move over to the next exercise. Next exercise will be a deadlift. Nice, slow, control, control the movement. Uh, legs about short width apart, a little bit wider. Grip, you can, it's all up to whichever grip is comfortable for you. Yeah, right over. There, you forward, slight bend in the knees. And up, squeeze. Controlled, and up, squeeze. Don't forget the breathing. Don't forget controlling the movement for me. Nice and easy, nice and easy. No rush at all. Keep moving, keep breathing. Only between 20 and 15 reps. Once you're done, put it down slowly. And that is your deadlift, guys. Next exercise will be our bent over row. With a bent over row for, in general, just have a more of a slight bend in the knees. Lean over like you're picking up something. You're gonna stay in that position. At the top, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Bring the elbows all the way up nice and high. Yeah. There, slight bend in the knees. And bring it all the way to the belly button, or just under the belly button. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Relax the neck. Give that big squeeze at the top. Squeeze those shoulder blades. At the bottom, half extend the shoulder blades and squeeze. Squeeze for me, keep moving, keep moving. Keep pushing, nice and easy. Very stuff. You should start feeling the back start to burn. That's what we want. Once you're down to 20 or 15, catch yourself a 30 second breather, grab some water and wipe yourself down.
next exercise is the pike push up, slow controlled again. Hands about shoulder width apart. Yeah, you can start in that position, walking your way up. From there, you're bending the elbows and out. Don't forget the breathing. Maintain that control. Keep pushing. Embrace the burn. Keep at it, keep at it. Nice and easy. Engage the core. And great stuff. Once you're done, please grab a 30 second breather. Okay guys, our next exercise is the glute bridge. Okay, glute bridge, you're gonna lie back on your mat for me. Knees bent for me, hands right next to you, or they can be wide, it's up to you. From there, all you're doing is just bringing that bum up. At the top, don't forget to squeeze the glutes. When you squeeze the glutes, you get that nice activation in the hamstrings. Okay, slow controlled. Squeeze at the top for one to two seconds. Now for me, squeeze. Nice, slow controlled. Let's start. If you want to make it difficult, make sure your bum does not touch the ground or lift your heels up at all times. You will get more activation on those hamstrings. Don't forget the breathing. Don't forget squeezing those glutes. Make sure you get full contraction. Nice and easy, nice and easy. If you want to make it more difficult, hold it for a couple of seconds at the top. One, two, three, and down. Nice and easy. One, two, three, and down. Big squeeze, big squeeze. The most important is that big squeeze of the glutes. The bum. And that is your glute bridge, guys. Catch yourself at 30 seconds, breather. Next one, one of my favorites, bicep curls. Nice and easy. Remember, you can use whatever you have in the house. If you've got a, a dumbbell, if you've got kettlebell, if you've got water bottles, five, five liter water bottles, please grab those and use that as your resistance. Okay, I'll be using a barbell. Now nice, still controlled. Again, don't forget to engage the core for me. Elbows slightly forward, they're gonna stay in that position. You get contraction in those biceps. Okay, bring it all the way up. Careful you don't bring it too far up, you lose contraction. Just about this should be good. Slow controlled. Squeeze at the top. Nice and easy. Engage the core. Squeeze those abs for me as well. Don't forget the breathing. There you go. Nice and easy. Keep breathing, keep engaging that core. Keep giving your all. Again, anywhere between 15 and 20 reps. 15 and 20 of the best, please. Keep moving, keep breathing. And thank you very much. That is your barbell bicep curl. Please catch a breather, 30 seconds, that's all you need. Then we'll continue with our next exercise.
Down at him on our mats again. Russian twist. Now it's an easy. Again, make sure your head also turns the direction that you go because it'll allow for your spine to turn a lot more so you can reach a lot more, get more activation. Okay, we're gonna begin with our feet down, nice and easy. Don't forget to breathe for me. If you're gonna make it difficult, legs off the ground. Again, lift of the legs off the ground, careful, they don't twist. gonna make it difficult, legs on the ground, form a hammer, side to side. Don't forget the breathing, don't forget the breathing. Keep going, 15 to 20. And that is your Russian twist. Now, next exercise is a tricep dip. Um, tricep dip, if you don't have one of these babies, you can use a chair, you can even do it on the ground. I'll show you the one on the ground just now. So there's uh, other ways that you can actually do it. Okay, so this baby, there, two ways to make it difficult. Straight legs to make it easy, bend knees. Okay, we're gonna begin with the bend knees. Make sure elbows are facing backwards at all times. Keep your bum close to the platform. You don't wanna move too far forward. Yeah, so from there, controlled, breathe, squeeze at the top. Careful, bum is not too far forward because in the shoulder it takes all the strain. If I want to make it difficult, straight legs for me. Keep breathing, keep pushing, nice and easy. If I don't have a chair or one of these babies, you can just drop down here. There. Keep pushing, keep breathing. Okay, that is your tricep dip for me. Next one, nice and easy, calf raises. Okay, straightforward calf raises. Maintain control, breathe up and down. If you wanna make it more difficult, make sure the heels do not touch the ground. Maintain the control, breathe. Squeeze at the top for one to two seconds. Nice and easy, big squeeze at the top, big squeeze. Or you can go all the way down. Keep moving, keep breathing. Well done guys, we just completed round two. Thank you for giving it all. Please grab a sip of water, then we'll jump straight into our cool down. Okay guys, let's finish off with our stretching. Nice and easy stretch, interlock fingertips. Reach all the way to the top. Hold for about 15 seconds. I'll let you know when you can change over. Half extend those shoulder blades. Don't forget that breathing for me. Nice and easy. Breathe. And relax for me. Take your time. Directly straight over. Bring that clo arm close to the body. There you go, right there. Breathe. Nice and easy. Couple of seconds. 15, 20 seconds. Then swap to the other side. Same as the other side. Bring that arm straight close to the body. Make sure you keep the other arm straight. Breathe. And swap back to the other arm over the head. 
Try and bring the elbow towards that side, then you feel the stretch more on the tricep. Engage core, focus on your breathing for me. Again, anywhere between 15 and 20 seconds, if you want to hold for longer, you can. And don't forget to soft to the other side. Same as the other side. You should feel a nice stretch on those triceps. And then over closer to the other hand. And relax for me. Now we're gonna bring it to the lower body. Okay. So with this one nice and easy. Okay. Okay, okay. Front. Okay. Okay, now we're going to stretch out lower body, starting with the quads. Again, find your balance. Make sure you keep your knees together. So, so you bring your foot to your bum, the more you feel the stretch on the quad. Back straight, while well, body straight for me. Engage. If you don't have balance, you can hold on to something. So there's something around you, hold on to that. Once you're done with the one quad, swap to the other side. Find balance, knees together, foot close to the bum. Body straight. Breathe. There we go. Now we'll move over to the glutes, to the glutes. Cross over leg. Bend down for balance. Again, if you don't have something around you, um, you sorry, for balance, if you have something around you, please hold on to that. Don't forget to breathe, nice and easy. A couple of seconds, once you're done, you jump over to the next leg, find your balance, and down for me. You should feel a nice stretch right there on the glute. Keep holding, only for a couple of seconds. Nice and easy. We jump over to the hammy, stretch, hammy, one leg forward, keep the toe up and just reach forward, chest out, keep the on around the back, chest out and up. And the stretch right all the way from the bottom to the top, hold for a couple of seconds. Don't forget the breathing, we're cooling down, focus on the breathing. And thank you, swap to the other leg, same. In between 15 20 seconds. If you want to hold for longer, it's all up to you. Focus on the breathing. And press stuff. Guys, that concludes our session. Thank you for giving you all. Stay healthy. Keep looking after your body, guys. Thank you.